Now, suffice to say, uh, the contents of this latest video that brought Boros and Antler, this poor schlump, <laughs> simply couldn't afford anymore. He ran out of money to pay his this creature of an ex-wife, uh, her alimony, and her whatever. Um, it really got got my blood boiling. And I wanted to make a brief video, if I can keep it brief, on what I would call the necessity of beating a dead horse. This came about in part because I contacted a very, very, very prominent uh, MRA on YouTube and asked him if he would be anytime soon making some new videos or something to that effect. I'm not going to name his name. And one of the things he, he, he said in, in, in response, he said, well, the question is, have I already said enough? You know, there are many other guys out there uh, speaking out on these issues. And maybe I've already said my piece, and this is something I need to consider with regards to my work. Um, it's it's a well qualified thought, and, and it's it's worthy of consideration. However, when we look at the contents of this video, or what we see in Barbarossa's uh, video right here, uh, I I will advocate what I will officially call the necessity of beating a dead horse. Many of the things that we talk about, men's rights, and men going their own way, these men's issues are unfortunately a bit repetitious. But the rep, there is method to the madness. There is uh, a sense to the repetition. For one, the repetition is important, talking about these topics repeatedly, quite to be very explicit about it. Um, because the more we talk about it, the more men we reach. The other issue, equally important, that's the that was the first one. The second one is really, if we don't keep on talking about it, it, it will be get swept under the, the carpet. I, I assure all of my viewers and everyone else out there, if we don't keep on constantly talk about these issues, fairly constantly, no one's going to pay attention. Uh, this is a movement, um, this is an interest that's spurred on by men who sort of realize where they, what, what their place is in society, and that they're essentially nothing more than slaves, worker drones, who have no inherent value. If that is a perception of society towards us, men, why would they give us uh, the time of day if we didn't constantly talk about these things? They still don't give us the time of the day. But, by talking about these things, getting back to point one, we're informing other men about all sorts of things. What the, what the real injustice is going on in society, what real inequality is about, about the inherent and, and extreme dangers of marriage, of state intervention in your relationships, but particularly of marriage. Um... You know, as an addendum, my, one of my most recent videos, dating, don't do it, marriage, don't do it. Uh, they both have pitfalls, but marriage, with marriage, you can end up like this guy who, in the video, gets thrown in jail and uh, is punished, essentially, for not being able to, I mean, he's, he's, he borrowed money to pay the alimony. And it also shows, point three, the necessities that, look at what we're up against. Look at this creature that spawned his children, whom he can't see, of course, ever again, most likely. Look at the creature. Now, some people might be inclined to say, ooh, this is an extreme example. This is, you know, most women aren't... <laughs> Not all women are like that. Uh, possibly not. But why take the risk at all? With Briefo's law, the female always looking for association through advantage, you see in this particular case with regards to this particular gentleman and his marriage, this woman, that I would add... A further extension of Briefo's law, something along the lines of, you know, 
a woman who no longer can garner advantage will seek vengeance for that because that is a perceived slight. Apparently, somewhere along the screwy line, uh, somewhere along lines of this woman's screwy brainwaves, something happened and she sort of lost. She just lost it, or this is just a natural occurrence in women. Oh, he's not giving me what I need anymore. I'm going to punish him. Yeah. But this is this is what we have. And so we have the necessity, in a way, the obligation to constantly beat this dead horse. And uh, in my humble opinion, eventually, maybe not anytime soon, the dead horse we're, we're beating, akin to a phoenix rising from the ashes, will have life beaten into it as well. Because the more numbers we gather, the more men we inform, the more women out there, and you'll probably still be able to count them on one hand, two hands, if you're generous, like girl rights what, the more luck we'll have, and the more the world will have to pay attention to us. Um, and at the very least, people, who, men who have not been exposed to these things, can learn the, car, the cold and hard truth about uh, these issues, which is it's very important, because they don't want that kind of stuff, the stuff that happens to the tax attorney, happening to them. And on a final note, don't tr ever trust a woman. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Don't trust your mother. Don't trust your sister. Never, ever trust a female partner. Don't trust anything any woman ever says. If you need to work with women, be polite, be cordial, leave it at that. Don't enter into discussions with women, it won't end pretty. Uh, this should just be clear, um, based on what we've been seeing. And is there any question now that there is a war, a, 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 a cultural, cultural and metaphor, well, no, it's, it's a real war, it's not even metaphorical a cultural, political, and societal war against men. It shouldn't be a question anymore. And so I would urge everyone who feels that maybe everything's been said already. Me, it certainly has not. You know? And if this is indeed a war, and it is, then we need to continue fighting the battles. Battle by battle, bit by bit. It's not enough just to say, you know, we, we've said everything. Because the war will not stop. Um, it's, it's a war of attrition. And it's a war that seeks to grind away um, all the goodness in a, male, in a man, man's soul. To that I simply say, you know, we, we just can't stop. We have to keep on fighting as long as we can fight. Because no one else is going to do it for us, quite frankly. So every bit of information, whether it's rehashed, old, regurgitated, brand new, whatever, it's all important. And we're all making a contribution talking about this stuff. Small, large, doesn't matter. As long as we reach one more, one extra person each time, that's a contribution in itself, and it's worthwhile pursuing. And we're adding someone... Uh, our side, who recognizes that there's a war upon him, against him. And in very rare cases, I've seen recently, through Girl Rights Watch, may the gods bless her soul, that some women, microscopically few, have come around to some extent to realize that something screwy is going on. Um, <laughs> it leaves one with the, with, the, with the afterthought that maybe women are somehow vaguely capable of perceiving injustice? Well, probably not. Who knows? But the point is, we need to keep on fighting the fight, because this is a war. Um, if we stop fighting, they will grind us to dust, as they have for millennia, if not millions of years. So, the only option is to continue talking about these things, beating the, the dead horse until we beat some life into it. And even if the horse remains dead for the rest of our foreseeable lives, it is Nonetheless, an important thing that we 
all need to do to the extent that we can. So I, that's those are just my thoughts on the whole idea that we're we're just there's a lot of repetition there is, but still needs to be said. Anyway, thanks for watching.